Well, I think the world is watching Japan very closely right now, and they're very anxious to see if they can succeed in exiting from almost two decades of deflation and low growth. Uh, I think the bottom line for the rest of the world is if Abenomics is implemented successfully and uh, a growth strategy and a strategy for fiscal adjustment are carried out together with the monetary policy that's already been announced, then we'll see a much faster growing Japan and a much more dynamic Japan and that will certainly be good for the rest of the world. Well, of course, nobody likes to pay more taxes than they have to, but the truth is that Japan has a major fiscal problem. Public debt has been rising as a share of GDP and by some measures is now higher than any other advanced economy. Because so much fiscal adjustment will be needed over the next decade, we think that uh, Japan will need to implement a series of measures both on the revenue and the spending side. And we think that the consumption tax has a central role to play there. The consumption tax is quite efficient at raising revenues and is much more pro-growth than other tax measures. And it's important to remember that even after these increases, Japan's uh, consumption tax rate will be quite low by advanced country standards. There are some distributional issues, but we think those can be addressed with cash transfers to poor households. So we think that we w the, the consumption tax needs to be a central element of the fiscal adjustment plan of the government, and we urge them to go ahead with the hike as originally intended. That's a very good question. You know, youth unemployment in Japan is more than twice the national average. I think the one thing that uh, Japan's government can do to ensure youth employment prospects improve is to ensure that the, gov that the economy is growing rapidly and on a sustained basis. Of course, this is just what Abenomics is aimed at. And we're already seeing some evidence that employers are starting to respond to improved economic prospects. For example, the number of vacancies compared to the number of job applicants has been rising over the last few months. Um, we'd like to see further progress in this area. Another important issue for youths is the fact that many of them are in non-regular jobs that have weaker protection, lower wages, and much, much, much poorer prospects for career advancement. We think there's a lot of things the government can do to reduce the duality of the labor market, including improving job matching and job training. And we hope that these can become part of the government's growth strategy.